When it comes to laptop brands, Razer is a little bit young compared to the rest, but that makes sense because they're hipper and they're all about gamers. But how is their tech support? The tech support is middle of the pack, which which is representative of a youngish sort of company. Right. Uh, I I know I didn't have any real problems like finding answers. It's just, sometimes you just had to dig a little bit deeper than I would have liked. All right. So what about the social support and how good are they? When like, you're reaching out on Facebook, Twitter, were they responsive? Facebook and Twitter, they say on their uh, support page, specifically the Facebook page, that they'll answer within 12 hours, but I found that they were much quicker, usually within the hour, so that's great. Mm -hmm. And the answers on social were accurate. But the thing I will say about it is that I really, really want them to develop some forums. Right, so Tom's Guide has some, but they should really <laughs> invest. Like, especially with Razer, if you look at their Facebook page, they have such a wealth of just communication between the CEO or a Razer representative, and then when you go to the social page, it's like a desert. Like, it just points you back to the support page on uh, RazorZone.com. Okay, so when you came time to actually call them, I mean, one thing that surprised me a little bit is that their hours are only from 12 to 8, which I think is good for gamers, right? You're getting up a little bit later. Absolutely. <laughs> but once you actually got a hold of someone, how good was it? I thought it was really good. I think my longest call was about 18 minutes. The shortest was 4 minutes and 14 seconds. Uh, they're very polite, very friendly, and knowledgeable. Uh, some things, like they are very knowledgeable on Razer-esque things, but Windows, they can get a little sticky. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time for them to, to, to narrow down which Razer laptop that you have because like uh, competitors, they just say the new Razer. I so see. What, what you say, I have a Razer Blade Pro like this, uh, they thought I had the one from 2011. I had to explain, no, I actually have the new one. Did any questions actually stump them in terms of their knowledge of their own stuff? Uh, just just narrowing down which laptop I had because it. if like the 2011 is totally different in design and the things that it can do than the current generation of the Razer Blade Pro. So once we got past that hurdle, right. it was fine. So overall, they were in the middle of the pack, which is not bad. And one thing that we were pleasantly surprised by is that their CEO actually went on Facebook and said, we can actually improve our tech support and here's what we're going to do, right? Absolutely. Like I was really impressed with men. Uh, he gave this long explanation like, hey, we're young, we acknowledge that this is what's happened, and we, we actually hired someone to improve our uh, tech support, so I am looking forward to seeing them for next year and many years ahead. Yeah, so we'll see how they improve next time around. Go to LaptopMag.com to see all the results from the 2017 Tech Support Showdown.